Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm Helen, mum of four big kids and today I am making a gravy mince with giant Yorkshire puddings. So I am buying the Yorkshire puddings, I'm not making these giant ones myself um, but this is a quick easy tasty dinner uh, which is really easy to do um, and you know everybody in the family enjoys. So um, I'm going to show you how to make it. Here are the ingredients I've got for my mince. So I've got two giant Yorkshires. This is what I'm gonna put the mince in. We've got some frozen chopped garlic, frozen onions, gravy, tin of chopped tomatoes, some carrots, ooh, some beef mince. It's better if you can get the 5% fat one. Then we have some mixed herbs, beef octo cube, petit pois, vegetable octo cube, and garlic powder. I did want onion powder. I can't find onion powder. I've run out. So we're going to make do without it. So they're the ingredients that we need. I'm just going to cut and chop some carrots. Right, I always start off with the carrots because obviously they take a little while to um, cook down and get nice and soft and the rest of the dinner is quite quick so now I'm going to get the mince on. going to mash up the meat before I put the onion and garlic in. This is my really cool meat masher. Makes life a lot easier. I'm going to add in onions, I'll finish that off to be honest. I'm going to add in some chopped garlic as well. We like quite a lot of garlic, so I'm going to do quite a bit. Yeah, just going to mix that up and let that mince brown off. gonna add in the beef and vegetable oxo cube at this point so the mince is just about browned off but there's still a little bit of fat in there just gonna get that in give it a good mix up carrots are now boiling as well as you can see so by the time they're boiled they'll be ready to go into almost the finished mince dish Right, at this point I need to make some gravy and we're just going to turn the heat down just for a minute because this is going to fry off otherwise. And as you can see that mince is all nice and browned and the onions are softened. Ok, 
Okay, my battery died guys, really sorry. Let's carry on. So, I'm gonna add in um, tin of tomatoes. Just gonna mix that in. So usually I do um, a bigger packet of mint because there's usually more people. This is a smaller packet, so I probably don't need quite a whole tin of tomatoes. And I've made some thick gravy, really, really thick. And I'm just gonna pour some of that in there. And pour some in that one. And turn the heat down on that. Give it a little stir. Just gonna add some salt and some pepper. Are you calling me? Just gonna add some mixed herbs. Pop a bit of garlic powder in, and I'm going to add the frozen peas in as well. Right, we're just going to let that simmer now until it's done. I'm going to check on the carrots and see if they're cooked. As soon as they are cooked through, they just go into the mince mixture. And then they just take on some of the flavour as well. I think I've done too many carrots, you know. Then just let that simmer away for about 10 minutes or so and at this point you can put your Yorkshires in the oven I'm just going to use some of this for mine There you go, look how nice that looks. So obviously guys, you can use this in the way I have by putting it in giant Yorkshire puddings, which is a really nice treat. Or you can use this base for um, cottage pie. Um, this is absolutely delicious. So I, if you haven't noticed, I've done like a second pan. Um, there's a few items in here I can't have. Um, I also can't have Yorkshire puddings either. So I'm actually gonna have mine with pasta as you saw me cooking um which is actually really nice as well so um i'm gonna just pretend mine's a little ragu even though it's gravy based <laughs> but anyway this is absolutely delicious this used to be my favorite kids still love it and i'm gonna show you it all dished up and there it is this takes me back to my childhood it really did we used to have this all the time um so there you go giant filled yorkshire and got mints and gravy and veggies absolutely delicious i hope you want to give it a try if you like this video please um push the like button and subscribe um because i'd love to have you here bye guys